Hello everyone, Sergio here playing uh, Stronghold Crusader multiplayer. This is basically a tutorial regarding the economy in um, in Stronghold multiplayer, Stronghold Crusader multiplayer. You know how a pro player manages his economy. I have here Nightmare. Hello. Hello. Yeah, he will teach us because I'm not not the best player, you know. So he will teach us his skills. So we have such that. an honor. Yeah, such an honor. Also, he has a clan, BRQ. If you want to join his clan, contact him. Let's start. Okay, so basically I will watch him building his economy and in this time he will talk with us. He will say what he's doing and what, why he is doing that. Okay, talk. Your popularity is Well, I'm obviously, obviously starting with the houses for peasants. With the granary and woodcutters for wood. Now I'm going to make, uh, I guess, five inns to increase the popularity. Buy five ale. Buy some more wood. Make some more houses. Start making wheat farms so they will start working. Like so. Okay, you're buying more wood, from what I see. How, how much taxes will you get from uh, those inns? I mean, how much popularity? Uh, depends how many peasants you got. One inn is like 30 peasants, so now I get plus 8 okay, popularity. Okay. So then I can put minus 4 tax and minus we 4 food. All right. Now I will now I'm gonna make some iron farms, some stone farms to get more supplies for gold. Stone quarries. And why did you build so many woodcutters? So I got lots of wood in a very short time. All Lions right. are attacking my liege. Uh, now you wait, you just wait. Yep, for the wood and wheat to be delivered. Okay, so basically a yin, a yin can cover uh, 30 peasants. Yep. Okay. Per in is 30 peasants. All right. And uh, why do you make some more woodcutters? So that the wood around here can be cut and I get more wood for a big bread eco. Bakeries cost around like 10 wood, so not that easy to build now I can just but my garner is running low so I'm going to buy some apples like so all right let's some go. more bakeries more wood gets delivered I need some ins though so I'm selling some iron which I'm getting now okay did you set taxes did... now I'm buying more ale did you set taxes Texas for you know to get money. Yes, Texas. Okay, I understand. But my biggest supply is going to be bread. So because now I don't have wheat, I will just put Texas. But later I'm going to put it a lot different, just to get more gold. All right, just keep telling me everything you do and why you do that. I see that you expanded. You took over the other grass areas nearby. Yes. Alright. <clears throat> the moment I'm just using all my gold just to buy wood and food to keep my economy running. Just make some more bakeries. Like so. Here. Here. Need some more ins. All right. Some more houses. More wheat farms, bakeries. 
So you basically now you have six mills or Yeah, um, six, six. Twelve wheat farms. Yeah, that's pretty good. So it's basically one meal for two wheat farms. Well, that's not really there's not really a particular number of mills covering wheat farms because the number of wheat getting received from a farm is like between I think one to six wheat you get from one delivery so yeah that's randomized there's not really a particular number to it okay I understand I see that you, you made my water pots why is that so I can get lots of peasants and get more gold from taxes. Okay, so the more peasants you have, the more taxes you will get from. Uh, yep. Alright. Also, the food consumption will increase as well. Yes, but because the food is currently on minus four half rations, so yeah, they won't really receive a lot of and take a lot of from me. So now I'm going to build, start a wall around here. I'm in need of more ale, I see. Sell some more stone. I need some more mills. One here. Here. Some more bakeries. More wells. Water pots. Yeah. Water All right, pots. so what's your popularity right now? What do you mean by popularity? Peasants or. Popularity. Still Plus. 100. Plus what? Um, at the moment I have plus six ill coverage, minus four, uh, minus four food and minus two tax. Why oh, do it you means have I minus four food. Because then I, then the rations won't be eaten that quickly, so they need less, less, rest, less rations. So you give them, you give your peasants less ra rations. Yep. So then I can sell bread for gold, and because bread is something you can sell for a lot of gold in high amounts, so yeah. Okay, so basically you right now have plus two popularity because minus four from uh, the food and plus six from the ale coverage, yep. you have only two popularity. Is that true? No. Now you're seeing it's wrong. I'm having plus six ill coverage, yes, minus four food and minus two tax, which means I don't have any okay, plus Okay, okay. I didn't include uh, the tax. Okay, no problem. Okay, how gold, How much gold do we get uh, from taxes with plus two and uh, how much people At do you have? At the moment I get 177, which is not a lot of. So I'm just going to keep that for now and just okay. put it something different. Now I'm going to build a standard wall. How many people do you have now? Uh, 259. Okay, and with plus two population, plus two popularity, you will basically get 170. Now population. I have plus eight ill coverage, so I'm going to put tax up to minus four, so now I will receive 200. 86 gold per peasant. Nice, nice. I'm going good. to delete my wells because I don't need them anymore. It was just for a pub. I'm going to sleep my woodcutters so I can use those peasants, destroy all those water Okay, pots. why did you destroy the water pots and why did you sleep because your woodcutters? I don't need wood anymore because um, I like bread eco because um, they don't need any resources like wood. I don't need to constantly, frequently buy wood so I can get gold. Now I just need wheat farms to produce wheat and then they just do that automatically for me and produce bread. So yeah, I could just sell that. I see. Uh, but now I'm sort of running low on flour so I'm going to delete some bakeries to keep the production running. Some stone. Let's place. Alright, so basically now you have a lot of peasants with which you can make troops. How many peasants available to convert into troops do you have? Let's see... Uh, 146. 
because you delete the water pots and because you sleep your wood cutters. Yep. Oh. And I see Lean is going to try and rush me. So okay, so basically this is the economy tutorial. This is what you have to do in the beginning of the of the match. But you didn't have any any weapon production. So basically you rely on Arabian Arabian units. You have a lot of gold from taxes and from selling bread. bread. Oh, okay. I understand. And also from selling stone and iron. Yeah, right. but it's not really a resource which gives me a lot of gold. Well, iron does in high amounts, but I don't really have high amounts, so... Yeah, you could have made use of the nearby stone and you iron. Are the third nah, I don't sword. need that. Okay, look at your enemy. He spammed a lot of woodcutters and... Well, he tried to... Maybe a little ego. Okay, so basically you are making a lot of horse archers combined with portable shields. Yep. Okay, from here we are going to move to the next tutorial. Which is... With the military and attacking. Alright? Yep. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel. See ya.